Hey guys, Danny Johnson here, and if you just replaced your alternator and it's still not working, it is possible the alternator is bad even though it's new, but something else you can check is follow the power wire that goes from the alternator and you should be able to find an inline fuse somewhere along the line. So this one's behind this little box here on this model, and I'll show you another one later. And so basically you wanna just remove this little cover and you're gonna find an inline fuse and they're usually a pretty high amperage, so this one happens to be 175 amps. Now before we go any further, we're, we need to disconnect the battery. So you're going to want to locate both the uh, positive and negative terminal. And we're going to do the negative first. And these ones are just a 10 millimeter socket. So we'll just go ahead and remove both of these and pull them off. So this is what the inline fuse looks like. It just has a bolt on each side and that's where you're getting power from the alternator and from the car's computer all kinds of things so you just take the nuts off and remove them and then this comes out it's kind of sandwiched in there you got to pull up on those clips and it just simply pulls straight out so again you're just going to remove it and this is what it looks like it's 32 volt 175 amp for this one so check which size your car has and uh, we're going to go ahead and just slide the new one on here and clip it into place so you want to make sure it sits flush it clips into that so once you get it nice and flat we're just going to reinstall these so just reinstall the tab and put the nut back on and snug it down and then uh, just go over to the other side do the same thing make sure it's exactly how it came off this is how this one looked and now we're just going to reinstall our cover so that uh, could take care of it if it was a blown fuse which is possible if the alternator lost the regulator and overcharged and blew it out. So now I'll show it to you my newer Yukon Denali because it's uh, this is how some of the newer cars look now. In this case my alternators on the other side you can still find it down in there it looks the same. It still has the power wire coming off of uh, the alternator there and uh, this one however comes in onto the battery itself onto the top of the battery. So just different locations same principle you're going to want to come over here and open this cover up. Having it open and exposed helps you get to this one. And it just pops off. You just got to pry around it uh, with your fingers, kind of pull outward and up. And uh, eventually this cover will come off. Um, so you'll just lift it up. So once you remove it, uh, you'll see it's a little different down here, but it's the same principle. Here's the fuse going through here. It's all kind of one little block fuse that's underneath everything. And so you would just take off these nuts here and remove each of those fittings and uh, just remove the whole fuse and replace it. So as you can see here, it has the whole different sizes of uh, amperage. There's 125 there in the middle, 175 to the right, 100 amp. Uh, looks like there's another 175 there on the left. And uh, 100 amp, 60 amp, and 60 amp. So. Those are for all the different attachments there, you just have to replace those. So same principle as the other one, just remove it and replace it. Make sure that the battery is disconnected when you do that. So we'll go ahead and put this cover back on. Just wanted to show you what it looked like on a newer vehicle. Some vehicles are different than the others. Some just have a fuse that's in line that you pull straight out. So you'll just have to look at it and uh, see what kind of fuse that it has. Anyway, thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions.